it got all icy, got snowed, and then all of a sudden we have ice. Everything turned into ice. So I don't know how the freeway is. I guess we're gonna see. Basically, <clears throat> this thing picks up uh, like 120 miles from me, Kennewick, Washington, and then it delivers direct to Kennewick, Washington. Some kind of <clears throat> UPS um, UPS pickup or pickup from the UPS location. And I don't even know where it delivers. I haven't even looked at the paperwork yet. Just got to print it out and I'm heading out. So fun times. Just spent forever, forever standing in traffic. I don't know, lost a good, probably 30, 40 minutes just standing around, bumper to bumper, barely moving. Now finally, um, somebody like crashed with a camper, jackknifed, and the semi was broken down, supposedly. So I hope that was it, but it's, it's a bit icy today. I don't know. This is kind of a tricky area over here, kind of in between Spokane and in between whatever, another county and not a not a lot of road taking care over here so i don't know maybe that has something to do with it it's always like that and it's foggy here it got a little better because the sun came out but when there's no sun and the fog was fixed this is when the stuff happens especially with black eyes okay on site look at the weather here look at this sunny everything just like normal everywhere good stuff I don't understand what the problem is, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'll go check in real quick, grab whatever I gotta grab and move on get with the delivery. It's just down the road two miles away. The delivery place is from here. This thing was a pharmacy pickup. It's not even a hospital. I thought it was a hospital, but it's a big, huge pharmacy. Anyways, maybe it's a little clinic. I don't know. Anyways, it says it's a pharmacy. Here it is, this is it, 60 pounds they say it is, but I think it's a lot less, whatever, some piece of medical equipment. That's what this is, and I just gotta go take it two miles down the road. Luckily they pay $400 on this thing, but it's already taken me forever to, to get here, and then, you know, a while to actually get loaded, and for some reason, I don't know why, they just didn't have it, I couldn't get anybody to the door, so anyway. It is here now, so let's go get it to the UPS store. This load paid 400 bucks. It took me... Uh, which way can I go? I'm going to think this way. Give me just a minute or two. Recent. Clear water. Go. So, this load paid $400. You might think, wow, two miles? 400 bucks? Yeah. But it takes me 120 miles to get here. It took me like three and a half hours to get here because of the traffic and all the time I went, lost over there. I got stuck in traffic twice. Got here, took like half an hour to get loaded, a little more. And then now I gotta go deliver the two miles, which is not a big deal. I'm not complaining about anything. I'm just giving you a breakdown of why, why, why it's gotta pay because it's an all day event. So three and a half hours to get here. Uh, over half an hour to get loaded to, for, to get somebody to come out the door and all that stuff. Now I gotta go take it two miles, stand in line at the UPS store, give it to them, get the paperwork signed, and then back home in good weather, two hours. But with this weather, who knows, you know. Right here it's all sunny, look at this, it's beautiful. Sunny, beautiful, and great, but when you get to past, you know, about 60 miles from here, 70 miles, it starts getting worse and worse. The closer you get to Spokane, the weather gets black ice and snow and all that stuff. So, yeah, it, we bid it as an all-day event, 400 bucks. yeah. If you were the driver and we're the dispatch, the amount would have been the same. It would have been $400 for, you know, is what we would be getting paid for it. We would pay the driver 300 on this thing, keep 100 Out of that 100 you know, you're still going to get a dollar a mile, over a buck a mile, no matter what, even for this. And... And out of that $100 that we make off of you, we're going to be still paying factoring charges, percentages for factoring because we pay you weekly. That means we need to get paid faster. So for us to get paid faster, we've got to pay factoring percentages. 
So don't think that it's all straight money that we made off of that and it's all good. It's not clean money. We still have to pay factoring as well. So we cover that ourselves. We don't charge the driver for that. But you guys are lucky, lucky. You don't have to deal with anything. You don't have to deal with invoicing. You don't have to deal with anything besides picking it up, delivering it, traffic, whatever else, you know, comes part of the road and that's it. You don't deal with any anything else that we deal with in the background and it's a lot. I don't know if you can tell from what's going on, but we're going into fog and some crazy fog again. Same thing that I was going through when I was coming this way. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be a fun ride again. There was a lot of accidents when I was coming. Hopefully we won't be dealing with any of those on the way back. Still got 79 miles left to hold. Basically, south is cheap right now. And if you're in the northern states, it could be okay, except for like the very, very east, which is New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Um, like Connecticut, Massachusetts, you know, all the way, the northeast, northeastern states, those have always been slower, cheaper, you know, no matter what time of the year, no matter what kind of economy, no matter what kind of fuel prices or any of that. That part of the country has a lot of freight going in there, and then for some reason it's cheap going out of there, it just is. Even for semi-trucks, for box trucks, it doesn't matter who. So, you know, the people that choose not to go there, well, you might just be sitting around and not get a load at all that day. Versus still go there, they still don't pay, you know, a lot more or more. It's just, you know, the pay is, pay is per mile and that's it, you know. I mean, you could sit and wait, but as I've stated many, many, many times before, sitting and waiting for some special rate, you know, you lose money in a day if you don't go anywhere between the food, the insurance, the, the no payment if you have one, you know, everything adds up. So it's best to actually just go, even for 85 cents or even for 80 cents, make less, but actually make money versus, you know, stand and lose money. It doesn't make sense. We obviously always go in with trying to get more per mile for the driver. That's how it just that's just how it is you know we go in with we go in higher but when we're sitting there and you know bidding 20 30 loads and nobody's either answering anything or we're getting you know can you price match this can you price match that and you see what the rate is that other people are going for well it doesn't make any sense for the driver to just be sitting there I hope you guys know what what we mean you know I know a lot of people say well just you know I'd rather be moving than staying, so, you know, just to get the load, it's okay to, you know, bid lower. Like, you know, it's not like we go in bidding low all as is from the start. We don't do that. We always try to get more, try to maybe, you know, if there's something that's with the hand load, hand unload, try to get a little more, you know, stuff like that. And usually, usually we can, from the people that we've been dealing with for a long time, we usually can get pretty decent rates. Sometimes some deadhead bait and all that good stuff. So it's not like we go into this already starting at like 80, 85 cents. No, never, not a, ne never. Even out of the bad, even out of the bad areas, we don't do that. You know, that's just so you guys know what's 
how the how the whole dispatch works. You know, for us it doesn't matter if you're driving for 70 cents, 50 cents, or if you're driving for two dollars a mile. For me it doesn't matter because what we need to make off a load, that's not, you know, it does, doesn't affect. So whatever price you're getting, we're still going to get what, what we wanted, what we need to get for the dispatching service. So it doesn't matter if you go for 50 cents or if you go for $2 a mile. It, it don't matter. It doesn't make any difference to us. It's just the only difference is not getting a load because we're going in high and everybody else is taking it for cheaper. Like out of Florida, things have been super bad in Florida. I don't even, I don't know. Lately, I don't even want to go down there. It's kind of weird, you know. Arizona's been sucking, you know. Some southern parts of Texas have been sucking. Um, it's just been pretty bad. Sometimes Georgia can be bad. If there's a lot of competition down there, people want to move, yeah. It's going to be a little worse. Let me put on the light. I got to turn the light on over here. Is that better? I think it's better. Wow. Look at look at the setup that I got. Look at this. It's insane. Hurts your arm to actually hold everything. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Anyways. Yeah, I did a little upgrade. Got a light too, so... So you guys can see me a bit better. <clears throat> it's always nighttime driving a lot of times. Either leaving early in the morning or driving at night and you guys can't see anything from anywhere so that's just how it is but anyways <clears throat> like I was saying it's better to move even for 80 cents 85 cents these days and actually go and go and get the load delivered and make some money versus sitting there because honestly break down your sitting cost and every day it, there's got to be a cost say for me I don't have a no payment so I don't got to worry about that um, all I gotta do is pay insurance, and my insurance isn't that crazy of a price, so it's only 600 bucks a month, and, you know, besides insurance and fuel, that's really it, and I know right now fuel, um, diesel, where we're at, is actually costing $1.50 more for diesel per gallon versus uh, gas, so diesel is actually more expensive right now. I don't know why, usually it was like maybe 50 cents, 30, 50 cents, always. Now it's more, I don't know wh where that's coming from, but it just is what it is, you know. It's a little, so the people that actually drive gas are probably getting, are paying the same cost per mile as far as fuel goes. Yeah, the Sprinter gets 20 miles per gallon versus, you know, you and a ProMaster get maybe 13, maybe. 1315 or you know or in your Ford Transit so there, there's a difference in the mileage yeah always is always a difference but right now it's kind of nice that actually the gas is lower so the people that drive the gas vehicles you know the price per gallon is different so all I'm saying is you just got to be moving 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 it doesn't matter if today you get a you know a little bit cheaper rate tomorrow you got a better rate it's just business as business you know if you were a stone owner store owner and you had more customers in one day that purchased from you less customers in another day you know or like no customers that bought from you for a couple of days and then you're back to normal business is business same thing with this you know this is business as well Sometimes it's going to be good and everything's fine and sometimes, you know, yeah, you're going to be doing the struggling a little bit. That's why you got to save that money, put it away, don't waste it, don't waste it on hotels and motels, things like that. I mean, you know, if you're going to, don't complain that if you don't drive one day or the next day, you know, that things are super bad. They're not super bad, you know, even if you're out there wasting money in a hotel and a motel, or buying expensive food, going out to eat, you know, in very expensive restaurants, or spending money in a hotel, well, that means you're making enough money if you're doing that. There's nothing to complain about then, then it's okay. But if you were actually to 
if you were actually using that 100 150 200 that you spent in a hotel and you know tell us hey bid less bid less per mile from here use that hotel money to get us out of here or me out of there then that would help because you know that's an extra 150 bucks that could go less on a loan so there's more of a chance to actually get a loan so i hope that makes sense for you guys so if i did my quick math correctly i think it turns out to be that the load paid 400 bucks minus 20 dollars for insurance minus 60 dollars for fuel about you know somewhere around there it cost me a hundred and cost 130 dollars to clear 400 miles right now so 260 miles count about that 60 bucks in fuel 20 bucks for insurance in a day that's it i don't have a no payment on the van it's paid for i don't have any other expenses except for my time so in the end you know yeah it took a half a day it, it took more than a half a day you know i call i counted a full day just because that's the only job you got for the day so all in all 320 dollars in my pocket i don't see anything wrong with that i call it good i call that a, <coughs> a good day a good local day i call it a good local day because i'm coming back home to sleep at home I don't know. Some people say they gotta make at least 500 a day to survive. I don't know what kind of surviving they do. That's some rich surviving if you gotta make $500 just to survive in one day. $500 a day is really good money. I don't care who you are. Especially with no education, just driving a van. You can make 500 bucks a day clean. That's good. What is this guy doing? slamming the brakes on me. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to turn this off for now. Well, I'm going to call it a night with you guys. This is too bright to have this light on and drive at the same time when it's all dark and foggy and it's all icy outside. Look at that. camera doesn't show the fog very well it kind of makes half of it disappear but that's how it is gotta be able to make more videos for you guys so for now ending with this god bless catch you guys on the next one whenever that will be see each other when we see each other and if you still haven't subscribed please do so that would help the channel out and if you can, you know, comment and do a thumbs up, that would be appreciated by me. And if you do like the content and you don't want to miss out on any of the videos that come out, I suggest pushing that bell notification. Smash that thing. And every time, every single time there's a brand new video, you're going to get a notification through YouTube right away about it. So, God bless. Yeah.